Now, the Poor Wife Festival is a week full of events from cabaret, performance, education and song to help reduce the stigma of HIV in Aotearoa and raise funds to support those living with HIV. Please welcome to the cafe the festival director, Boni Terongopai, Tukiwaho and one of the star performers, Jackie Clark. Yes! Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you both so much for joining us. First up, nice T-shirt. Thank you very Ta-da. much. Very nice. Well, they stay. Very on point. Very on point. Very mm. on point. Now, this festival, Borne, was your brainchild. Tell us a little bit about how did it all come about. Uh, well, kind of my brainchild. I was one of the first um, people involved. Um, Body Positive is a foundation that looks up, uh, is one of the foundations who is there to support people living with HIV. Mark um, Fisher, who's the director of that organisation, came to me to have a conversation about what could be done to mark World AIDS Day differently to what it normally is, which is normally like bucket raising Mm -hmm. funds through buckets, but also to look at how they could find a way to support their community, um, people living with HIV, uh, to empower them to feel safe, to be visible, um, to educate other people as well, to be able to look at what stigma is and to be able to um, normalise is a weird word, but to kind of look at what normalising these things are and to be able to have the conversations. Right, and I mean, you can both answer this for me, so maybe, Jackie, I'll start with you. Do you think, because, you know, you're a busy lady in touch with the world and and New Zealand, is there still still a (laughs) stigma attached to Uh, HIV? Yeah, I think you... I, I think so, in that... Maybe not in a general sense, but if you personally came across somebody with um, HIV, I think most people would go, I don't know how to be or how to act, and I'm mm. not sure what this means for me. So in terms of that education message, mm. Um, mm. it still needs to be out there. And also, it's decades have gone past since that first epidemic struck, and things have changed, the drugs yeah. have changed, and, and a lot of people could think, ah, oh, it's not a problem anymore, but actually it's still with us, and yeah. we still have to be aware of it. So there are still education issues around all sorts of things that we need to keep addressing. Yeah. So we got a little bit lazy, didn't we? I think maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's probably just more complacent. Complacent, that's probably a better word. (laughs) (laughs) I think it's also a generational thing. You know, when it hit in the 80s, it it was something nobody knew about. Um, And then even going into the 90s, people were still trying to figure out what was going on. And, you know, in the last 10 years or so, even though it hasn't disappeared or anything, as you say, the drugs are there. Um, So because it's like... For some people, I imagine, um, it's like you get a flu. You can take something that'll make you feel a little bit better. So the, the awareness is different, I think. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Jackie, how did you come to be involved with it all? Um, well, this lovely man um, who we've, uh, we've worked together uh, uh, several times, and he just invited me. And I think the, the performing community has always had a, a strong and supportive association with yeah. people living with HIV. So, you know, as a performer, I'm just there to go, yeah, uh, we want to entertain and we want to raise raise uh, awareness and we want to make sure everybody can come and be entertained and feel safe in our house. Yeah. Aww, nice. And you will do that, I am sure. But, um, you know, there's your show, there's lots of shows going yeah. on. So yeah. across the week, Borny, what can we expect? Festival! It's like, yeah, it's like... Well, it started two years ago as a mini-festival. Um, my whanau have the Poe Theatre in New Lynn and we, we're trying to figure out how to marry performance and um, awareness and look at what education and how we could support that in both ways. So uh, in the beginning, it was five days at our own venue and it was a different type of performance every evening. Right. This year, we've grown um, to eight venues across Auckland and we run from Monday through to Saturday. Uh, the the th- part of the festival that Jackie's in is our um, it's our fundraiser. So it's on November the 30th and the Thursday in the evening at um, the Winter Gardens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, It's in the Winter Gardens and Auckland Live has been amazing. They've come on board and they um, you know, they've partnered with us to make sure that this is actually something we're able to do. Uh, but we, you know, we go, we're at the family bar, um, we Ending HIV, they've got a like a red party. Um, briefs is a part of what we're doing oh, yeah. as well. That's yeah, so Briefs is on at Q Theatre and they've put some stuff together that they're helping to support with us. Um, Garnet Station is uh, in Westmere. Now, we specifically looked at creating a, a safe space for women. One of the things we were finding um, interesting was our engagement with women living with HIV was really Mm. difficult because that whole idea of visibility Mm. and safety um, 
was really difficult, I suppose. So what we did was with Positive Women, we looked at where we could take one space and look at the whole week as a week for female empowerment as a whole, as a community, just so it happens that we're able to look mm. at what education for um, HIV is as wow, well. Wow, so some great things happening um, yeah. and going on. Now, Jackie, you are involved with the Upside Down Gala. I am. Sounds fun. Tell us about it. Well, it's a whole lot of fabulous performers, mm -hmm. and Borny's given us this challenge to come kind of do a cabaret that's got a little bit of a Kiwiana theme going through it. So um, I thought I would, you know, since I'm a bit of a Shirley Bassey freak <laughs> and an Adele freak, I thought one of my tunes I would do like a Adele's Bond theme, but with a little bit of Shirley Bassey in there. But then I'm going to do um, a little Kiwi medley in a cabaret style. Oh, so, nice. So each performer has been given a little task to sort of work around that, that Kiwi on the theme. Oh, no, I would pay just to see you sing one song. <laughs> I, get a, I get a free performance soon, don't you? Yeah, you do. Yes. So you're going to do the Adele one for us soon? I am, I am. Me, 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 me. Oh, good, good. Okay, well, <laughs> well you get ready for that. And Borne, um, yep. just quickly, what, what, what do you hopefully want to achieve with this festival? Uh, I think... Ultimately, is just to look at how we can keep the idea of the, the awareness. So the, the organisations I'm working with, New Zealand um, AIDS Foundation, Body Positive and Positive Women, it's their kaupapa. My, my part of it is to help support it with amazing people, uh, to be able to use our, uh, our skills, to be able to get it through to um, everybody who's a, who is mm. able to hear the yeah. messages. Awesome. A great message, great performance. Yeah. Mm. Borny, Jack, Brilliant. thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The Poor Wife Festival returns to Auckland from November 27th, that's a Monday, to Saturday the 2nd of December. Now for all event and ticket details you can head along to the bodypositive.org.nz website.